Good evening guys. Um, I've had a request from a subscriber or viewer. I'm not sure uh, if it was a subscriber or not. I apologize. Um, about um, mixing and thinning uh, Viejo paints. And uh, I thought I'd do a little kind of short how-to. And uh, his question was uh, specifically that he had had some difficulties uh, in using uh, Viejo products out of his brush. He said he got some, finally got some results with it, but it, it uh, clogged his airbrush. And that's a common uh, effect, by the way, of uh, the Viejo paints. So, what I've got several products I'm going to show you uh, that I use um, and uh, some of the benefits and uses that you have. Now, most of you guys have probably seen these before. Now, to start with this test, I'm going to be using a color from the Panzer Aces range, which is equivalent to a model color. This came specifically from the Panzer Aces number two set, and this color is called Canvas, and I've used this color before um, and thinned it. Now, I happen to have some of the old Viejo thinner, and this is really not available anymore. It's a whitish liquid, as you can see here, and it's a quite a bit thicker um, than the uh, newer airbrush thinner. Uh, it works fine. Um, it makes the pigment, you can actually see the pigments come out of your airbrush when you spray it. Uh, this is the new thinner and it's, as you can see, a clear liquid. Um, this is a new bottle, um, but it works, uh, works quite well. Uh, now, one of the characteristics, uh, indeed, um, of Viejo paint is the fact that it does dry the nozzle quickly. Now, one of the nice things about my trusty Badger Patriot airbrush is that I have easy access to the nozzle. I can clean it quickly. I keep a uh, Q-tip um, or cotton bud, <laughs> as some of you guys call it, uh, handy uh, that I keep wetted with um, uh, airbrush cleaner, Viejo airbrush cleaner, to uh, keep the nozzle clean uh, if it clogs. However, there are some um, products on the market that can assist or help at least reduce the effect caused by uh, the thick, fast-drying uh, Viejo acrylics. And one product that Viejo makes um, that you might try is this uh, retarder medium. And uh, it does exactly as it says. It slows down the drying time of the paint. I know a lot of guys who brush paint the figures use this because it gives them a few minutes longer to work with the paint before it begins to dry and harden. This can also be used uh, in an airbrush but you must use it very sparingly. I mean, it's like a drop, and that's it. And um, it, it, uh, it will help uh, reduce the clogging effect. Now, there's another product on the market. Now, this is not a Viejo product, and I do use this if I'm gonna do a long spraying session, and that's this Flow Aid um, from Liquitex. And um, it also can assist in the flow uh, during um, you know using these paints, which you know, especially the Viejos, which have a tendency to dry very quickly. And it's readily available at art stores or uh, online. I buy my, pretty much everything I buy on eBay, more or less, or from Scale Hobbyist. Uh, it smells uh, a lot like dishwasher soap, um, but it um, uh, definitely breaks the surface tension uh, to make it uh, flow and, and then come out of your brush a little easier. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, I, I was stirring this up, I, one of the mistakes I haven't made, um, Chris uh, from Chris and Alex Modeling, um, you know, has ball bearings and all his VA Hill paint bottles, and uh, I think that's a really good idea. I have not done that. Some guys use washers, little small washers. I'm not sure where you buy ball bearings, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm, I'm going to have to get some because I've got a lot of VA Hill paints now. Um, but uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my brush. I've got a piece of sheet styrene for a non-porous surface that uh, I'm going to use. Just so that uh, we can see how this works. So I have showed my method for mixing paints before. Um, and... I'm going to be using the new thinner. I'm not going to use the old thinner, mostly because it's not available. So I'm going to be using this. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, I've got my TCP Global eyedroppers that I use for this. I'm going to get three of them, actually, because I don't want to cross-contaminate the 
uh, the color. And um, I'm going to add some color to the cup. Uh, I do this at about a one-to-one -one ratio with the, the thinner. So I'm going to add, I don't know, say 10 drops. And this paint is very thick. One. added 10 drops so I'm gonna add 10 drops of the yeah, Viejo thinner now, I had a little bit of airbrush cleaner in there that I forgot about now, I take my to me a paint stirring stick these are really nice. If you don't have any, I'd recommend you get some. And I'm going to run my brush at about 15 PSI. Um, I, Cohen agrees with me on this because he's had several Badger airbrushes, but they seem to love 12. But because this is a thicker pigmented paint, it's really not you know, specifically designed for airbrush use. Uh, I'm going to spray at a slightly higher pressure. And I should be... Pretty much good to go on that. So let's see uh, how we're spraying here. There we go. So here we go. I've, it's a little thin because of that airbrush cleaner in it. That's already beginning to clog slightly. I did not add any flow aid. But certainly I could use this color and I can pose that a lot. You can actually see, like I said before, this one's not as bad as the old thinner. Um, it works quite well. So quite a bit of paint in the cup. So I can paint a pretty thin line. Can you guys see that? Even with a model color paint, it's not cooperating as good as some of the airbrush paints, but I mean, that's certainly good enough for World War II German camo or mottling on a Luftwaffe aircraft. You guys can see. And I'm pretty clogged now, so what I do at that point, um, like I mentioned before, I take my Q-tip. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wet it with uh, some of this airbrush cleaner from Vallejo. Not that it matters, but the double L sound in Spanish, guys, is pronounced like a Y. Um, but I'm not trying to correct anybody. So it's Vallejo. But uh, everybody, please pronounce it how they see fit. So I clean the nozzle. And we're back to spraying. So you can see that they kind of globbed a little bit. That's think some of that, some of that just to be expected. Like I said, I didn't uh, there was a little bit of airbrush cleaner in this thing, and I think it kind of kind of gummed it up. But it seems to be working fine. That was me, it was a little heavy on the trigger. But uh, so that's using the this airbrush thinner. Uh, that's the regular model color range. And now to do a comparison, I'm going to use this uh, Viejo uh, model air color um, and uh, show you that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the brush out. This is going to take a minute, and uh, uh, you guys don't need to see me do that. So I'm going to I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I cleaned out the brush. So you you can see uh, and you know I've well, I set that down without letting it dry, but you can thin it successfully. Uh, it is very thick. Um, you can sort of kind of do fine detail work. If I played with the thinning a little more, um, like I said in the beginning, I'd forgotten that I had some airbrush cleaner in here. But you can get good results. The the flow aid would have assisted in the 
couple of places where I've got the heavy pigment come out. Uh, that would have certainly helped. Um, I only, in the session that I just did, you'll notice that the nozzle really only clogged on me once. So uh, I think that's certainly acceptable. And now to, uh, sh to contrast uh, with the uh, model color range, I got a bottle of um, Model Air. This is a relatively new bottle. I bought this not that long ago and I've used it on a build. Uh, let me uh, stir it up. And uh, the nice thing about Model Air is that it does not have to be thinned uh, at all. Uh, so, but I want you guys to see the difference in the contrast. I didn't change the pressure on my airbrush. I'm still at 15 PSI. So I'm going to add some color to the cup. Now, there is no hard and fast rule. I mean, you can thin this if you want. So if, for example, if you wanted a little finer detail, if you wanted some really thin lines, you know, if you want to spray, you know, camo pattern, uh, a really small camo pattern, say in 170 second scale or on a 140, 1 second scale aircraft, we needed some really thin lines. You would probably want to thin it, you know, just just a tad more, maybe with a drop or two, of this airbrush thinner. But uh, you do not have to um, uh, to do that. So I'm ready to go here with the brush. Here we go. And it's all I can tell you is a huge difference. It's a much finer pigment. Um, of course, we all know this is specifically made for, but you can notice that better lines, and this is unthinned. Now it will eventually clog the nozzle. A drop of that flow aid would certainly help. So you can see definitely that while you can spray model color, um, it's a little trickier, but it, it can be done and good enough for base coats. I'm not sure I'd want to do fine detail work with it. I suppose you could, you know, but I'm um, more or less a novice with an airbrush. But you can see that just with the regular model air, you know, I'm getting really nice thin lines, you know, and then I can, of course, hose down the color if I need to. That Viejo paint has got a really unique smell to it, uh, but sprays really nicely. You guys can see that. Get really thin lined with unthin, unthin model air. The nozzle's getting a little clogged, so that's when I would hand grab my uh, Q-tip, wet it with the model air, or the uh, excuse me, the airbrush cleaner. Get right back to it. And that's really all there is to it. Um, so model air definitely more forgiving. <laughs> um, the Panzer Aces or model color line um, can be sprayed successfully. It's a little trickier. You guys have seen that. Um, remember products like the Flow Aid. If you're going to do a long painting session where the nozzle clogging will become an issue, um, there is the old thinner, which I like just fine. Uh, the ratios are different. So uh, with model color, right, um, the thinning ratio was about one to one with the new Viejo airbrush thinner. So one part paint to one part thinner um, using my eye drops uh, eye dropper method. That I use. I'm sure I'm not the only one that uses that. And then, um, you know, if you want, it'd be just a drop of uh, flow aid. Don't ever put in more than that, or, or it'll just, you know, just your paint will do weird stuff. And then, of course, there is the uh, retarder medium, uh, also um, a, as an alternative to help uh, reduce uh, the clogging part on the nozzle. So, anyways, uh, that's it for uh, for this session. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, everyone have a, a good night. Let's paint left-handed.